what is up guys, Trix here, and welcome back to episode 3 of Terraria 1.3 with TXW. We are back in the 1.3 Let's Play world, and don't worry, before you panic, no you didn't miss an episode, I just played a bit off camera. This isn't, oh, sorry I just forgot to, no I didn't, never mind. Oh I know, I just lost my internet connection, or whatever. Uh, I just forgot to do that, there we go, anyways. So, you didn't miss an episode, I just did some stuff off camera, and I will explain this in just a second. But anyways, guys, this is a pre-recorded video. This is going up when I am currently gone. And so, yeah, if you have comments, I won't be able to respond to them until I get back. But anyways, let's get on to the video. What did what did I do off camera, and what are we going to do for this video? Well, <sighs> sorry, Spina. A little bit since I have water. Well, we'll start at the very beginning of the base. Uh, and then we'll just walk through everything. So, this is a subtle change, but these wooden stairs were changed to platforms um, because it's less expensive to use platforms instead of wood as you get two platforms for every one piece of wood. Plus, I think it looks nicer than the, uh, than the wood did. Also, something I learned, you can toggle fireplaces now. That's cool. But, also I added this door through here so that we can quickly pass through instead of having to go up here through the guide's house, boom, and out. Now we can just go like this. Uh, oh, close the door. Dang it, close the door! So now we can just go like this, like, oh, running from the monsters, running, running down, through the door, through the door, through the door, and boom, safe. I think that's a bit faster, I don't know, though. But anyways, on to the next change. Um, the guy, oh, look at that, the guide is sitting in his chair, look at that! He's sitting in his chair. The NPCs are interacting. That's a new feature. Oh, and he wants sunshine. So he's going to go outside? Yes. No, no. So anyways, on to the next feature. I got a cactus sword because I went to the desert, I believe, last episode and got some cactus, got a cactus sword. And that's pretty useful. I'll get to the rest of the stuff um, right now. And then I also went exploring uh, to the left. To the right, I mean, and found an umbrella. And I'll show what I found so far. So back here at spawn, which is right here, I believe, I built this bridge across this lake, came across this mountain, and a snow biome that I explored down into this cave. It looks like I explored far, but we we really have barely made a scratch in this world. Um, we've covered maybe a sixth of it, or a, a sixth of the surface, not even that, like an eighth of the surface. And then this cave just, it, oh, we're dying. Hello, Mr. Slime. How did you get in my camp? Come on. Come on, man. Come on. But anyways, come on. Anyways, yeah, barely touched the world. So that's a benefit of playing on a large world. It's so massive. Anyways, um, next thing, we'll go through the house. I didn't do anything down here yet, but up here, there's a few changes. Uh, one, I built this little ha this little NPC house off to the side with this little bridge, and the merchant moved in because, oh, look at that, he's sitting at his table, because I got some money when I went exploring, I'll show that in a second. And next change, is that a lead anvil? Next change, got some chests as well when I went exploring, I got five chests, this one is my secret chest under the stairs to hold all my valuables, and yes, that's a gold coin. What? A hundred range damage? What? Oh, it must be for the coin gun. Anyways, that's cool. So that must mean that... Wait. 25, 50, 100. The platinum coin must have 200 range damage or something. Yeah. But anyways, I went exploring and got some stuff. And now, um, we can get two more NPCs, sort of. We can get... I know that we can get the... Um, demolitionist because we have this grenade we just need a house and then we might be able to get the die trader I have the die I haven't beaten a boss yet but I have the die material and it depends on what this herb bag gives us but before we do any of that we're going to talk to the merchant see what he has to offer we're also going to sell him some stuff he has a sickle which is useful when we might get that and we can buy rope shurikens arrows uh, lesser man potions, lesser healing potions. I'm gonna buy a couple of those. I can't. Don't have my money. And a piggy bank. Still one gold. 
I might buy that later. Bug net, I'm definitely going to buy. First of all, let's sell the old copper short sword, the old wooden sword. Um, let me see here, what else? We have shurikens, antlion mandible. Can't sell these gravestones, unfortunately. We can also sell a nice torch. <sighs> Excuse me. I'm tired, it's late. I'm trying to finish up the recording so I can go back. Oh, uh, other things. I got a wooden boomerang and a nimble wand of sparkling, which is the very first magic weapon you can get, I believe. So let's test out this bunny. Hello, bunny. So yes, it does damage. It's not good, but it's a weapon. Anyways, sold everything we could to him. Let us now get some lead and some tin. See here what, and then we'll see what we can make. Lead and tin. I really like this house. I'll, I'm gonna talk about this house for a second because it's kind of private. It has this little landing in between that I sort of stylized. I'll put some rope or fence there or something to make it look better. But then it's wood and it's got uh, cactus lighting with a fence background, which kind of get lets the background in. And I really like it. I think it's nice. Anyways, let's see how that rope looks. If I can find it, 462 rope. That is not too shabby. Or there we go. And huh. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Let's try adding one more. Seeing if that does anything. No. No. So tell me what you guys think about the look of this in the comments below, and I will change it depending on how much you guys like it. So anyways. Let's get back to it. Um, we'll put away our stuff in a second and we'll open up the herb bag. Oh! I should get to this real quick. Um, sorry about that, guys. Anyways, let's get back into it. This top of the tree I'm sort of clearing out so that I can fit two NPCs, hopefully, up here, two to three. We'll see. I'm going to finish this out this episode or something. I think so that we can try and get the demolitionist because the merchant is present and that's kind of a requirement for it. And then we'll also open up this herb bag. But we made some stuff. Oh, also, one more mana star. Um, got enough fallen stars for that. So we got enough stuff. Let's just see what we can make real quick. Let's see if we can upgrade from the wood armor. Let's check here. We can make gestures arrows now. Those that's actually going to be really useful. I think we should make a couple of those, maybe. We'll, we'll do it in a bit. But anyways, let's go... Ooh, lamppost. I want to make that. Um, tin brick, anyways. Uh, oh, we can make chests and stuff. Oh, I'm getting distracted. Minecart tracks, that's useful. Probably do something, something with that later. But anyways, let's get in here. Pickaxes, sword. We can make all the armor we want. Wait, can we? Oh, yeah. I better stack that. Anyways, let's see here. Heavy workbench, used for advanced crafting. Oh, hey, buckets have a new texture. What we need to do is we need to make a sawmill, and the way we do that, we need a chain, I believe. Um, I'm just going to double check. I don't want to make anything I don't need, so I'm going to check with the guide just to double just to see what exactly we need for that. Hello, Jeff. Jeff, you're my favorite. I hate to kill you. Anyways, blacksmith rag. Cool. Where's... Oh, wow. You can make a lot of stuff. There's the sawmill. You can make dungeon chests now? Hey, the pumps have a new... Um, Martian chest. Ooh, ooh. Pumps have a new texture. Let's see. Uh, honey chest. Anyways, we're getting distracted. Sawmill. We need tin wood, two iron, one chain. So, yeah. Let's make the sawmill, because that's kind of important. Um, then we can make a loom and s weave our silk into a bed or something. Let's put those out on the s outside. There we go. Anyways, back through here. So let us make tin chains real quick. There we go. And come over here to the workbench. Hopefully I'll have enough left to make that lead sword or pickaxe and sawmill. Boom. That's important. Anyways, okay, now, back 
Let's see, we can't... Oh, dang it. Can't make the lead weapons. Tin is just equivalent to copper. So I'm not going to go with that for these things. Oh, except maybe a hammer. Uh, that's slightly better. 35%. 35%. Minus one range. Hmm. I don't know. I think we should go for the armor. If it's worth it. Yeah, I think it will be. But we don't have enough to make the full set. And I need a bit more lead anyways. So let's see here. What should we do? Ten broadsword, fast speed, average knockback. Cyber sector of a start chance. I'm going to stick with my cactus sword. And I'm going to make a ten pickaxe. And... Should I make a ten bow? Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that as well. And now... Let's see what other crafting stations we can make. Sword rack, spear rack, helmet rack, all those racks. Uh, loom. We're going to need that. Looks like the tiki torch is in the way. So I'm going to... Mine up all my stuff and offset it by one. Hmm. Yeah, it's frustrating that I didn't plan that already. Furnace, sawmill. I like how it highlights new items now. That's that's awesome. We need a favorite spy soon. But anyways, loom. Let's get down to business. Where is the silk? There it is. Seven cobwebs, so I can make one. Okay. Hmm. So what else can we make with this? Um. Oh, dang it. We can't make a yo-yo. We need... Oh, how do we make a yo-yo? I want to make a yo-yo, because those yo-yos look cool. Uh, die, 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 die. Jeff, Jeff, get over here, Jeff. Jeff, Jeff. Ha, huh. Jeff, you can't run away from me, because I installed a door in your house without telling you. Sorry, Jeff. Should have told you. Is how do we make a yo-yo? Oh, couldn't have made it anyways. 10 wood and 20 cobweb. So yeah. Can't make a yo-yo yet. We needed more cobweb. So let's... I'm going to put some of this stuff away off camera. But let's see here. What else? Oh, yes. Um, opening... I'm just going to deposit this all real quickly. And then I'll pull out what I need in a second. Let's open up this herb bag and see what we get. You got blink root, shiver thorn, and fire blossom. So that's good. I think. I think it's good. Um, we won't, won't have a use for that yet. I don't think, at least. Anyways, let's sell some stuff. Let's see here. What can we sell? What can we sell? I think that's good for now. Oh, we need to carry that in our inventory. But yeah, I'll find some mysterious flowers or something later. Um, when I get back. Oh. Okay, well, we're getting rid of the rope bridge if we can't open up the doors. I didn't like the design of that. Anyways, um, sell this. Shop it. Shop, shop, shop. Okay. And now let's just add some rooms up here so that we can get the demolitionist in. Because the demolitionist is an important guy. He has grenades. So I'm going to give him a little balcony to protect us on this side. Um... So they can defend us from the incoming zombies. Yeah. I read up on the NPCs. And I the, the one NPC that really excites me is the tax collector. Because it's like... It's everything I've ever wanted to do to my NPCs. Just filled out by another NPC. Like, I hate that NPCs always charge you for stuff. Even though you give them a house in your town. And what the tax collector does is... If there's an NPC that owns a house in your town he goes around and collects 50 copper from them now it doesn't sound like a lot but you can increase that rate and he can collect up to 10 gold at a time for you and that's pretty cool um, so you can make money by having people live with you it's like borders sort of if you don't think about it too much but yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. Or, really looking forward to finding out how to get him. Because I really want that NPC. He sounds pretty fun. He may or, he might not be the best dude. But still. 
I get money. So that's nice. It's always nice. Let's finish out this house and see if it actually qualifies. I don't know if it will. Um, it should. So let's put down some wood. And I need to get a living wood wand. There will prob probably be some other living wood trees where I can find that. But I don't like how this wood looks and how I won't have the correct wall for it. But we'll just have to live with it for now. So I'm going to put some stuff down. We'll probably also put our bed in here or something. I'll put a fence out there as well. There we go. The door should open. And I'll keep the rest of that. Where did my thing go? Okay. Let's finish up this house. Then we'll end off the episode. Because I want to go to bed. Because it's actually really late. Um, when I'm recording this. And it's the night before the 4th of July. So I want to be awake so that I can go and blow stuff up tomorrow. Um, also, I'm going to record a very special Trex place tomorrow. But you guys will just have to wait and see what it is. Actually, I have to record two Trex plays tomorrow. Because and that's going to be fun. Um, because I'm going away. I want you guys to have your Trex plays. I just don't know what to do them on yet. I, I should not have done that. I, uh, don't place it there. Dang it. Alright. Two doors. So come on, hurry up this episode, put the spark in your voice back. Trex, don't sound boring, don't bore the audience away. Alright, there we go. Nice little balcony for the demolitionist, demolitionist to defend us. There we go. Let's put torches in here. Light this place up like the 4th of July. Is it valid? This housing is suitable. Awesome. They don't come at night, though, so... Next episode, we'll get the the uh, demolition, demolitionist in. But, yeah, I'm really loving Terraria 1.3. I hope you guys are enjoying the series as much as I'm loving the uh, update. So, anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Terraria 1.3 with TRXW. If you'd like to see a map of my mouse clicks and movement for the video, there's an Imgur link in the description below. And if you like this video, then make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content. I will see you guys all in the next episode, which will be live this time. I won't be gone. And that should be... Bum -ba -da -dum. The next episode of Terraria should be Friday. Um, that sh oh, wait, no. I'm not, I'm not recording that. I don't have time to record that. The next episode of Terraria should be Saturday. No, that's a Trex place. I'm... Words, not good. The next episode of Terraria should... Be Sunday, and I will see you guys all then. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.